Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. I know we are going through a very tough time and facing a lot of troubles due to COVID-19. Let's pray to get over this pandemic very soon. Today I am here to share one of my recent experiences with you guys. Since now we are at home and we have less day-to-day -day activities to do and less pressure, so I thought to complete some online courses in this time to make this time more productive so i have completed an online course within this time and today i will share my experience and i will show you how and what we learned and what we developed throughout this project the project i completed was titled as object oriented programming in java which was offered by duke university at university of california san diego actually this course is a part of a complete specialization course of Java which is this object oriented programming in Java specialization and there they have four programs or four courses as you can see uh, they have four courses from the very starting of Java and then uh, to the deeper level as we can see here they have four courses so I thought that since I am a computer science student so I thought these first two um, courses are not that much necessary for me so I enrolled for the third one which is object oriented programming in Java this is a six week co weeks courses and where the instructors discussed about memory models and scopes uh, graphical user interface using the applet and also the canvas setting and different map, map providers unfolding maps different kind of adding markers and features and also some uh, real life scenarios so now i will show you what we have developed throughout these six weeks and then finally what we have done for our assignments or extra extension so let's see the outcomes so throughout the course we have worked on and unfolding maps which include some earthquake markers so we have worked on a data which includes the earthquakes over the cities or lands or oceans and we have used different markers to indicate them it will be more clear to you if i run the project so So here is the output where you can see different markers and there is a sidebar which defines what are those. As we can see the triangle shape marker which means these are this shows the city markers and the circle markers shows the land quake marker and the rectangle markers showing the ocean markers. Also we have uh, used different colors to uh, figure out or differentiate the magnitude of the earthquakes for the ocean and land markers which means the yellow markers have less magnitude than the blue markers have more magnitude than these and the highest magnitude markers are marked as red then there are some markers which you can see that they have some cross mark on over them which means these earthquakes have occurred during the past hour that's why we have marked them differently then we have a feature more feature uh, which is that if we uh, hover on a marker then it will show the information of that marker like for ct marker it will show the name and uh, the name of the country and the population of that country and for the earthquake markers it will show the title of that earthquake including the magnitude and the place where it happened the next feature is when we click on a marker it will hide all the other markers and only uh, make visible to that one which we, which we have included using mouse click event similar uh, and if we click the uh, markers for the second time it will unhide all the markers similar thing will happen when we click, click on an earthquake marker it will hide all the other markers and only make visible to that one and if you click that for second time it will unhide all the other markers there is also an another feature where we have calculated the thread circle that means if an earthquake 
may hamper any city or not or if a city can be hampered by an earthquake if the earthquake marker is in some city's thread circuit and then we click the city it will visit uh, make visible the earthquake marker also and similar thing will happen when we click on the earthquake marker it will make visible the city markers also because these two are in one thread circle that means the this earthquake may hamper this city and this city may hampered may be hampered by this earthquake and when we click for the second time everything will be unhided there is an extra feature which i have done for uh, as an extension as you can see in the sidebar if you press the up key it will uh, select the maximum magnitude earthquake and if we press the down key it will select the minimum magnitude earthquake so when we click the up key as you can see here it is showing the uh, earthquake marker which have the maximum magnitude and the similar thing will happen when we press the down key it will show the uh, earthquake marker which have the minimum magnitude it is uh, marked by white marker because we have uh, introduced before that shallow marker will be marked by yellow color then if we uh, press the down key one uh, once again it will unhide all the markers so this was the final outcome which we have completed throughout the course uh, of six weeks we have not developed this whole thing uh, at one stroke we have developed it part by part of the projects now i will show you an, another example which uh, we have i have developed for my assignment bird for my peer review assignment i have worked with a data file which contains the airports and the routes of different countries and from that i have extracted the data from united states and uh, hungary and then i have uh, made visible uh, these markers these country mar airport markers on my map and uh, all the possible routes from these airports on uh, that means uh, from the airport route possible routes from the airports of these countries this is the outcome of my project where you can see there these are the, the red dots are the markers of airports and the gray lines are showing the routes from those airports again there is the feature if you hover on the marker it will show the information of that airport uh, as you can see it will show the information visible from a particular airport if you hover on that marker the next feature is if i click on an airport marker it will hide all the routes from uh, the map only show the possible routes from that airport to the destination that means if i click on a marker it will only show the possible routes from that airport for example if i click on that and zoom in you can see it will show only the two routes which are possible from this marker or that means from this airport and if i click on the marker for the second time it will unhide all the rest from the zoomed view you can say that this marker has only one possible route so if i click on that it will show only that possible route from that airport and unhide all the others and if i click the of it for the second time it will unhide all the rest so this was the project which i have developed for my peer review assignment I will not share the source code with you guys because I want you to enroll in that course and earn your own certificate. As you can see here, I have my own certificate with 100% grade and these 6 weeks of study contains 4 to 6 hours per week. So I want you to enroll in this course to earn this certificate. I will give the link of this program which I have done and also the specialization program which includes uh, the rest 3 courses also. So check the description box for these links and you can also go through any other courses which you think is required for you on any online uh, course platform, uh, platforms like Coursera or Udemy or anything else you are comfortable with.
if you do this with passion trust me this will help you to uh, develop your skills to a great scale thanks for watching my videos and stay safe stay home